Hey what's up guys it's Aptrix here today we'll be turning our android device into an working windows 10 pc so right here as you might be able to see i am running the windows 10 operating system on my android device and it is using the internal storage of my android device as you might be able to see everything is working properly we are not using any cloud streaming or cloud gaming apps this is natively being emulated on your android devices and i can already feel my device getting hot because yeah emulating windows 10 on android is now possible in 2024 but it is not really easy this is complete windows 10 so let me just go and tap on the windows start icon and show you guys uh, that it actually works properly if we just head on over towards the settings app i'll be able to show you guys some more information uh, we are basically using the vectras emulator on android i have already made a video talking about the setup procedure of vectras windows emulator on android and there we go as you can see windows 10 settings has successfully uh, opened and it says windows isn't activated as you can see at the bottom i'll be showing you guys how it actually works in today's video so before starting if you guys are new here hit that like button subscribe turn on all notifications as I upload similar videos on my channel with that being said let's get started I'll just go ahead and tap on the shutdown VM option and then tap on the yes button uh, and it will take us back to the Vectras emulator homepage. I'll tap on the don't allow option and don't allow again and right here you should be able to see the Windows 10 version which I'm using now if you want to also emulate Windows 10 on the Vectras VM emulator so right here as you guys can see I'm using the Vectras emulator you can watch my setup video on the iCard above if you want some more information regarding this including minimum requirements etc but basically we'll be using the Vectras vm version 2.7 not the version 2.8 as it has some stability issues anyways once you set up the vector simulator on your android devices what you'll have to do is tap on this icon afterwards tap on the windows button afterwards scroll down until you find windows 10 or tiny 10 x64 slash x86 which you can see right here it also has windows 8 8.1 windows 7 etc windows 7 works the best by the way anyways if you want to try out windows 10 then basically you get three options windows 10 arm is very huge and currently it is not supported on vectra simulator which will be supported in the upcoming updates and this is going to be the proper windows 10 version currently we only have basic versions and windows 11 is also being added on the vector simulator pretty soon so that is really amazing news be sure to hit that subscribe button turn on all notifications as i'll keep you guys up to date with all the latest updates regarding vector simulator and in our future videos we'll also be trying out some games so basically what you'll need to do is tap on the windows 10 version which you want to import for example let's say i want to import this i'll just go ahead and tap on the import button and then uh, import the t10x86.vbi onto the vector simulators and when you start doing so uh, it will take around few minutes for this ui to open up so once the import process is completed we can just go ahead and check out the logs etc but let's just go ahead and tap on the top three lines and then go to settings inside settings head on over to the q emu section in terms of cpu model you can set all the way up to intel core i7 or amd Octaron processors uh, i recommend you guys to go with intel core i7 or intel core 2 duo as they are pretty stable if you are trying windows 10 go with intel core i7 anyways uh, make sure to enable custom memory and set the memory size to 2 gb or higher in my case i have set it to 2096 megabytes you can keep it higher if you have good amount of ram on your android device in terms of cpu we can go all the way up to six cores i'll be setting cpu cores as four cores and once that has been done make sure to enable these two options you can also enable shared folder basically if you enable shared folder uh, you can use the games or apps that are already available on your uh, Android device and run them on the Vectra simulator inside the Windows 10 which you are emulating. So yeah, this is another option which you need to enable. Once that has been done, we'll just go ahead and head back. Afterwards, head back again. We'll just go ahead and go back and then open our Windows 10 on Vectra simulator. Make sure to select the guest account. So it has successfully started. It will show you booting from hard disk and afterwards you will see an black screen for a few minutes now generally the windows opening time as you guys can see the windows logo has already appeared it should take around five minutes or so for the uh, vm to launch on your android devices and yeah all of these controls which you see are completely customizable anyways as i was saying loading process will take around uh, five minutes uh, if you have a good device for today's video i am using my xiaomi 11t pro because unfortunately vectras emulator doesn't work with android 14 devices so yeah 
IQ 12 as well as OnePlus 11 are completely useless even though they would provide really fast uh, speeds compared to Snapdragon 888 processor on my current device. So minimum requirements as I mentioned before you need at least 8 core CPU as well as only 3 GB of RAM but it will be pretty slow on low end devices. You need to at least have Snapdragon 860 processor or above. So if you tap on the gamepad options uh, you can switch to game style of gamepad like you can see right here. Uh, our analog stick has we get an analog stick and also other separate keys for uh, controlling our game characters etc. Well, it is besides the point because we won't be testing out any games in our today's video. You can switch back to the normal windows preset by tapping on the PC icon. And yeah, you also get a uh, keyboard support so you can use your device keyboard if you want to type anything in browsers etc. Once you see an black screen, you will just have to wait for around a minute or so and afterwards you will see the windows please wait UI. Momentarily your screen will turn black so you will have to wait, you will need lot of patience because we are literally emulating original windows 10 on android. And yeah, it also takes up lot of battery life. When I started recording this video, I had 20% battery left and within just 8 minutes, my battery is down to 14%. So that's how you know this process is going to be uh, very power consuming. Anyways, your Windows 10 is about to start and yeah, as I showed you guys before, everything should work properly. Uh, you get an mouse cursor, you get these on-screen touch controls, you can uh, also import your game files etc with the help of shared folder as I showed you before. So let me open this PC and take a look at other specifications. Now as you might be able to see in local disk C we have uh, our device internal storage and you also get users folder, windows folder etc etc just like with any PC. So yeah it is completely usable and you should definitely try it out on your Android devices. Uh, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, turn on all notification as in future I might test out some games on this Windows emulator. Till then I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.